hi welcome welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm gonna be making some steamed cabbage jamaican style with salt fish first and foremost we're gonna go grocery shopping for the ingredients i'm missing if you guys have not subscribed to my channel already if you enjoy this channel go ahead and subscribe picking up a pack of sawfish. I like to go with the boneless ones because my always make me stay with bone and I don't know about y'all but I be following bone sometimes and it's not fun. Need scotch bonnet pepper and cooking oil. So I'm wondering if I'm the only one who always lights a candle when I'm about to cook something. I don't know why but it just makes the vibe so aesthetic and calm and nice and you feel like you're enjoying yourself cooking the food well yes I like to light a candle that's why you see me light a candle but see, I'm organizing the ingredients I'm about to cut up the sawfish to put it in the pot and also guys I use vinegar and baking soda to clean all of my vegetables one more thing, I don't know if it's just me, but anytime I'm cooking sawfish, my afi eat like a piece of it. Like I always cut off like the tail, some part of it, and I always eat a small portion of it. I don't know why. So because the sawfish is so salty, I recommend boiling it at least two to three times. It depends on how salty you want it to be in the end. I am also using three different colors of the sweet bell peppers. I don't know the difference between all of them to be honest, but guys, I love having colors in certain foods when I'm cooking. And I also love sweet peppers by itself. I eat it raw, I eat it cooked, I eat it fried. It doesn't matter, I love sweet peppers. Now on a serious note, does anybody have any recommendations for cutting up the onions? Because every time I cut up onion, I always end up with tears in my eyes like I just lost something important to me or I just watch one movie or something. Like tell me why, tell me why. So if you have any recommendations, suggestions for peeling an onion, let me know so I can also uh, have it here for everybody else who struggles with that. So here's something I love to do. I love to crush pimento seeds, y'all. <laughs> it's just so fun. I don't know why I love hearing the sound under the knife or whatever I'm using to crush it. But right here I'm just showing you all of the ingredients I've already prepped and put to the side. So next up will be the carrots. And I like my vegetables to be chunky. That's why I cut my carrots so big and thick because some like it so depending on how you like it then do it according to that i feel like by the time they're done cooking if i cut them smaller it's gonna be too soft and i like when certain vegetables are crunchy so just do it according to your discretion if you're using this video as a guide or if you're just watching this because you like to watch me cook and enjoy so it's actually very easy to make this meal and you can make it along with rice, you can make it with ground provisions such as yellow yam, white yam, sweet potato, Irish potato, dumpling, kasa, whatever you are going to make it with. You can make it with all of them. But honestly guys, I was thinking about doing the ground provisions and I was like, that's going to be sort of like too much for me right now. So I made it with rice and I normally add stuff like pumpkin peppers things like that to my rice 
so you're not gonna see the rice portion but you're gonna definitely see me making this and it's easy to make so if you're trying this on your own you got this Thank you so much for watching. That will be all for today's Cook With Me video. Stay tuned for more. And if you have not subscribed to the channel already, I'm gonna let big people for the things, but me and big if you subscribe if you enjoy it over here. And if you don't, well, that's okay too. <laughs> but thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you guys would love to support my channel, you can leave a like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe to help me reach my milestone of 500. So yeah, I'm super excited and I'll see you guys in the next video.